Decision coverage technique, uh, which is a white box testing, gives decision coverage to Boolean values. This technique reports true and false outcomes of uh, Boolean expressions. So if you take statements like do while if statement and uh, case statement, in that case, there will be possibility of two or more outcomes, right? So this decision coverage covers all possible outcomes by using control flow graph or chart. Decision point, it has two decision values. One is true and the other is false. That's why most of the times the total number of outcomes will be two. So here the percentage of decision coverage, it can be written as, so you can see the formula here, dividing the number of uh, decision outcomes ex exercised by total number of decision outcomes. And then you need to multiply this value by 100. So in this technique, it is very difficult to get 100% coverage because sometimes expressions get complicated. So there are several different methods to report decision coverage. All these methods, they cover most important combinations and very much similar to decision coverage. Let us uh, try to understand this with an example. So consider this code in order to apply on a decision coverage technique. So here, let us assume that the value of A is 7. And you can see that 7 is greater than 4. Yes. So here, this is a control, control flow graph when the value of A equal to 7. So it, since the condition is true, only true part is exercised. Right. So you can, you can calculate the decision coverage like this. So number of decision outcomes exercised. So only one decision outcome that is true part. So one by total number of decisions are true and false. So here we are not executing the false part. So one by two into multiply that with 100. So decision coverage is 50 in this case. Let us take the second scenario where we have considered value of A as 3. And this is the control flow graph and the value of A is 3. So here uh, you can see this, uh, if a value, uh, a value is three here. So three is greater than four, condition false. So in this scenario, only false part is exercised or it gets executed. So from this, we can calculate again, we'll get the decision coverage as 50% as only one part of the code is uh, executed or only one part of the condition is executed. Here you can draw test case table also. So how many test cases we considered? Two. So in, in our first test case, where value of A is 7. So if value of A is 7, then this, uh, uh, this part will be executed, right? So 7 into 3. So output will be 21. So value of A is 7 and output is 21. What is the decision coverage? 50 percentage. So this is one test case. Whereas in this case, what will be the test case? In the second scenario, here value of A is 3 and output is also 3 because the, uh, we are not multiplying this value by 3 as the condition is false. And the decision coverage is 50 percentage second test case.